Hi friends, this is Neil from the technical marketing team. In the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how you can easily deploy Veritas Net Backup from the Azure Marketplace. First, we need to go to the Azure Marketplace. Once we're in the Marketplace, we'll search for Veritas Net Backup. A few choices will show up, so let's choose the latest Veritas Net Backup deployment. After we do that, we'll select the plan we'd like to deploy. Let's choose Veritas NetBackup 9.1. First, let's start with the basics. We're presented with a few screens that will be used to customize the deployment specifically for you. Choose the subscription you'd like to deploy in. Next, we'll choose an existing resource group or create a new one. Now select the region we want the deployment to be installed in. Installation type enables you to create different components in the NetBackup architecture. I'm going to select primary, media, and cloud point servers. Username is the user that will be used to log into the machines we are going to create. I'm going to use a user called BKAdmin. Choose the authentication type you'd like. Now we'll enter a password for that user. And then we just put it in again. Next, we put in our license key and whether or not to use an existing DNS zone. I'm going to create my own here. All right, and then when we are done with that, we'll click Next to go to the primary server details. All right, these settings will be used specifically for the primary server. Give your new primary server a host name. Choose the size you'd like the server to be. I'm going to just use the default size. Next, point to your Usage Insights registration key. All right, next we need to put in a service name, and this is what user will start and stop your processes in your Net Backup environment. I'm going to use NetBKAdmin. Name your virtual network. Enter the subnet your primary server will connect to. Name your public IP if you're going to use one. And enter a name for your primary server that will be known by in your domain. All right, and when you're done with that, let's click Next to go to the CloudPoint server details. All right, these settings will be used specifically for the CloudPoint server. Let's give your CloudPoint server a name, choose the OS type, select the size of the virtual machine, how large you'd like the data disk to be. Next, we choose if the CloudPoint server will be on the same network as the primary server. This is totally up to you. Give the public IP a name if you're using one, and enter a name for the CloudPoint server that will be known in the domain. Okay, and after that, enter the IP range for the inbound CIDR axis. Enter any proxy information that's needed. If not, just continue on. Select if you'd like a regular, if you'd like regular snapshots to be taken of your CloudPoint server. Now enter a CloudPoint username and a password for that user. Okay, and after that, we're going to enter names of the CloudPoint host that need to be part of the TLS certificate. Okay, select the port CloudPoint we'll use. And when we're ready, just click on Next so we can go to the media server details. All right, these settings will be used specifically for the media server. Let's give our media server a host name. Select the size of your media server. I'm just going to use, again, the defaults. Next, we'll choose if the media server will be on the same network as the primary server. OK, let's name our public IP if we're using one. And we'll enter a name for your media server that will be known by the domain. And when you're done, let's just click Next. All right, everything looks great. Let's click on Create to deploy our net backup servers.
So what's happening now is Azure is starting the deployment and we'll see the different pieces that we gave information for starting to be created. And after the deployment is complete, what we're going to want to do is we're going to log into the new primary server to ensure that all the components that we're building right here are actually inside. All right, our deployment is now complete. So let's log into our Veritas NetBackup primary server. All right, let's log in with the credentials that we entered when we started the deployment. All right, and that's a normal screen that you would see when you first log in for the first time. But let's go to the hosts so that we can see all three of the components are here and properly registered with the primary. Great, there they are. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to deploy Veritas Net Backup from the Azure Marketplace.